Uh, thank you very much. And, and uh, I certainly share Mr. Brady's hopes that uh, we are seeing a new day on tax havens from what has been a major tax haven in Panama. And I think it should be very clear uh, it took uh, Panama about seven years to get there. If we had acted precipitously on this Panama Agreement, we would not have any of the advances uh, with reference to taxes that have occurred. Uh, while I would like to have seen more comprehensive action with a, an agreement similar to the one we have with Canada, I think this is a significant step forward. Uh, and our unwillingness to rush into this agreement until the tax issue was addressed was the best approach and the only way we achieved this uh, gain. Let me ask you, though, Mr. Reif, uh, about another country. We have now had an agreement with Australia for about six and a half years. Have we had any problems with that, or has that agreement generally benefited uh, America? So you're speaking about the free trade agreement with Australia? With Australia. It's been a very positive uh, experience for no the problems. United States. And no, no, no significant no problems. No significant problems. As you know, uh, in these three trade agreements, Panama, Korea, and Colombia, we did not follow the model that we had with Australia with regard to uh, preferential treatment of foreign investors. Rather, isn't it correct that these three agreements use exactly the same investor protection model uh, that exists in the Central American Free Trade Agreement? Well, this, this agreement follows the investor protection models we've used in most of our free trade agreements. Yes, Australia sir. is the is That's the exactly that what I want to get into. It, it, but it is exactly 100 percent the same as the Central American Free Trade Agreement investor provision, is it not? The investor state provisions are similar to the investor state provisions we've used throughout our FTA program. And uh, in that regard, uh, we have chosen, for example, in Korea, uh, which has a very advanced court system, uh, any time, as I understand it from the testimony of, pr of prior USTR officials over here, any time in the negotiations that the United States can use the preferential provisions with these arbitration panels for investment rather than the court system, uh, it can achieve that. Uh, it, it goes that way rather than using the Australian approach. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure I would describe them as preferential. What the I, I understand you, you think they're great, and that's why you follow that approach, but if you have a choice between having investors rely on our court systems and giving them uh, the alternative of using these uh, arbitration panels, uh, the USTR position is go with the arbitration panels. Well, uh, what the USTR position has been is to negotiate that opportunity for corporations to use if they decide that that's the more appropriate path for them. Rather than in following the Australian model, which, as you told me, uh, moment, a few moments ago is the exception rather than the standard that USDR aspires to. Correct. Uh, and some of us do feel that that gives uh, advantages uh, to foreign investors uh, to challenge environmental health and safety laws uh, in closed panels rather than through the judicial system. Uh, and that is the policy of this administration. And with regard to investor provisions and what some of us view as preferential treatment of foreign investors, there is not any difference between the policies of President Obama and his administration and the policies of President Bush and his administration, is there? They stayed 100 percent the same. Well, the way the, the way the provisions work is that valid regulatory objectives of a state are... I, I, understa are I understand how the policy works. My question to you is, isn't the policy with re reference to investment provisions 100 percent the same. You couldn't tell the difference whether it was being inked by President Bush or by President Obama. They're exactly alike, aren't they? Well, the, the investment provisions of the three FTAs we have before us today, sir, were uh, negotiated yes, by the prior administration. There was a change as a result of the agreement that's been referenced earlier with respect to May 2007, but the Obama administration can, continues to support that there needs to be effective and, and adequate protections for our investors in foreign markets so that they are able to vindicate their rights if they've made an investment in the country. Exactly the same as under the Bush administration, right? That's all I'm asking. You haven't changed Bush administration policy in any way on investment as reflected in these three agreements and your support of them. 
our, our policy is that foreign investors should have effective recourse in a foreign market. And isn't market. that the same as the Bush administration? It's a simple question. Well, it's, it's, the, it's the position of our administration well, then, that they need to have that kind of a uh, uh, I'll ask protection. you again with reference to the uh, Columbia Agreement when we get there. 